The ribbon is the horizontal strip at the top of the drawing area that contains tabs and panels with various commands and tools. There are many types of ribbons on the AutoCAD interface. We're going to focus on the FireCAD Tools ribbon. This ribbon will be the subject of many of our lessons. The FireCAD Tools ribbon is broken into 14 panels. Each of the panels contains one or more commands, which we will explain in these lessons. This is the File panel. This is the Edit panel. And this is the View panel. Extending to the right are 11 additional panels, which we will examine in detail as we need them for these lessons. Panels and palettes are dockable windows that display additional tools, properties, or settings. We will focus on the FireCAD palette. The FireCAD palette is normally located on the left side of the AutoCAD interface as it is shown here. It can be relocated to another screen if needed, but for our purposes it will stay here. The FireCAD palette contains three tabs on the right side. The top tab is called the Project Tree. It tells us the name of the project we are working with and its location within our file drive structure. The middle tab is the device palette. This is an area where we can access components to place in our system drawing. The bottom tab is the circuits tab, where we can access circuits when we need to connect system devices to their sources. The command line is the text-based input area, where you can directly type commands or use AutoCAD's command prompt. The command line is an alternative to selecting commands from the ribbon or the FireCAD palette. We will not discuss the command line in our initial lessons, as it is an advanced topic usually used by experienced AutoCAD users. The drawing area is the central part of the screen where you create and edit your system layout drawing. We will refer to this area as model space. It is accessible by selecting the leftmost tab located in the bottom area of the AutoCAD interface. There are also layout tabs, but we will not discuss those as part of this basic lesson.